Hey guys, today we're going to do an isometric sketch. This is something that we've been talking about in class over the past few weeks, so I wanted to make a quick reference video for you to help you to develop these sketches on paper. Today we're going to be using this object, which I 3D printed, as our reference object uh, for today's sketch. So the first thing that we need to do with this thing is determine which view will be our front. So this shape has a couple of different sides that we can choose from. If we look at it here, there's three distinctive sides. Our rules for picking the best front view, we have three of them. Rule number one is the longest dimension. Rule number two is the most distinctive side. Or three is the side that has the most specific shapes like holes or cutouts or something like that. So when looking at this object, it makes the most sense for us to go with rule number one, which is the longest dimension. So this will serve as the front view of our object. Now because this is the front view, that means that this will be our side view or the right side view, and this will be our top side view. So let's get to sketching. Okay, so when we are setting up our paper, the first thing that we want to do always is put our name, title, date, and period at the bottom of the paper. The next thing that's important is that we use a mechanical pencil and that we always use a ruler as a straight edge when we are starting our sketches. The reason that we want to do that is so that our lines are nice and straight and it gives us the most detailed sketches that we can possibly get. Next, I'm going to orient my part or my object and identify my front face and I'm going to try to put that visually in front of me so that I can create my sketch. And I'm going to start at the bottom edge. So I'm going to place a point on my paper at the bottom to serve as the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to count up along my width line to develop the bottom edge of my front view. I'll use a straight edge ruler to do that. I previously measured these. Then I'm going to count up from that to create the vertical edges of my front view and then add the top and the side of my front shape. That little L shape is what we should end up with. Now I'm going to use a combination of the side and the top views here to create that cutout shape that we see from over the top. I'm using the dimensions that I previously gathered from this. We'll be using those in the next video to make a multi-view drawing from this isometric sketch. It's important that we look at the side and the top view here so that way we, and we don't accidentally distort our sketch. There are two spots that we can see from the side view uh, connected to those little parts that stick out where that little gap is. There are two lines that are hidden in there that we need to add to our sketch at the end to make sure that we've got all of our faces. All right, so that's what our sketch should look like at this point. You can see that we've got that seam line that connects these two C-shaped features that go across here. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna apply shading. And when we apply shading, we use three color schemes. On top, there is no shading. On the front, there is very light shading. And on the right side, there's dark shading. In this next part, I'm labeling each of my faces with an F, T, or an R to identify whether they're the front, right, or top view. So that way I know what type of shading. And I definitely didn't forget a line that I missed earlier. Then I went through and applied my shading. For the front view, we're going to apply our shading vertically along that height line. And we're going to do that for every face that is facing the front. Note that there's even one that's in between the C shape on the side, and there's one on the back of the shape at the top. Now I'm adding my shading to the right side views. Notice that those will be darker. Those are also along our depth lines, which means that they're running perpendicular to the front view shading lines. That gives that sense of depth. So we've got two different color schemes going on, and it also reminds us that it is in a different direction. Notice that we do have one spot in between the forks on our shape here at the bottom where we've got some right side shading, because if we were to look at that from the right side, we would see that little pocket. And that's it. Our isometric sketch is complete. So next time, we'll talk about how we go from our isometric sketch to a multi-view drawing, such as this one with a front, top, and right side view. See you next time.